Hi, this serves you pro with Makotech. And today we're going to learn what the Thingiverse customizer could have become if their parent company had kept investing in it. So stay tuned and let's learn something together. Models.makewithtech.com is a new online software application that will provide to the 3D printing, to the laser cutting, laser engraving, CNC community, a working customizer that will be free forever. There will be more advanced features behind a subscription, but the basic customizer will always be free. So let's take a look at it today. And the beta release is already out and available. You can go to models.makewithtech.com. So you'll see here on the splash screen, some samples of types of things you can do. It talks about the various subscriptions, including the free forever subscription and future paid subscriptions. Let's dive right in. So if you click on this little search icon, the cloud icon, you'll see models that are available on the platform. You can look at uh, featured models, or you can look at the latest models, or you can look at models you've posted and you've only posted. So if we go back here, let's look at one of these models and see what you can see. So for each model, you have the opportunity to see potentially multiple images. If multiple images were loaded in this image viewer, this model has one image. You can look at the model in 3D if an STL file was loaded. And you can actually look at the open SCAD script. Now, viewing the open SCAD script will be one of those features that will be behind the subscription um, firewall in the future. Now, if you are the author of a model, and so let's actually look for a model that I was working on today. And so if you're the author of a model, you can click on the tools icon. You can see how many times the model has been used. You can update the model, you can delete the model, and you'll see this model has an SCAD file, a JPEG file, which is the thumbnail, and a zip file. Well, the zip file capability, something customizer never had. So in addition to your main open SCAD file, you can now have a file that concludes fonts and modules, and SVG files and others, and I'll show you how you see exactly what that is. You can specify a description for your model. If the model was originally from Thingiverse and you wanna refer people back there, you can include the Thingiverse ID and you can flag your various options. So let's go back here and you'll see it remembers that we are looking for hooks. And now let's invoke the customizer. And this is where the fun begins. Basically, it looks similar to the Thingiverse customizer, maybe a little bit more like the desktop customizer. And you also have a preview capability. So I didn't make any changes here, but I'm gonna look at what this model was set to. So we can see we have a hook here. We can rotate this around a bit. And these are flat previews designed to render more quickly than a full model render. And I can dismiss this. This model was created by Rolf Jethen. It's licensed under GPL. You'll see that I actually gave him credit right here. I include a link back to Thingiverse and it's under the GPL license. So it's basically available for everyone. So I made a copy of this legitimately. I will only do this for appropriately licensed models and ported it to this platform and added this getting started section because this model has literally over a hundred parameters you can set. So instead of making this model 50 millimeters, let's make the base 70 millimeters. And, and Rolf has a wonderful feature where you can include SVG files as designs on your hook. And if you go down to the bottom, you'll see all the files he provided. Well, there's one I really like um, let's, we'll just leave the lips one in for right now. So let's look at a preview. 
and you'll see that we can rotate this around a little bit. And we can zoom in a little bit. And you can see now that this model has lips under the hook. So very, very cute. There are many, many, as you could see here on the screen, options for what you can put under the hook. And now when we're ready to actually take and process the model, we click on Q model generation. Now this generator has the ability to hand over a thousand simultaneous model renderings uh, queued up individually for each user. So we're going to go ahead and queue this model. It's been in beta test for five, six months now, and it doesn't go down. Uh, this isn't like what you're used to on Thingiverse. This is a robust infrastructure hosted at AWS. And we can actually go over here and look and we can see, oops, that's the rendered queue. So here's our current model in the queue. If we go over here, we'll see some models that we previously processed. And we could look at one of those. And this one had a coffee cup on it. Let me zoom in a little bit here. And you can see the coffee cup on there. And now you'll see we just got a notification that the model we were waiting for has finished. So now we can go down here and the if we refresh our completed queue and we look at the latest model, this one should come up with lips on it. And there we go, and we have our lips on there. So that's how the general system works. It has search capabilities, the things you would expect from a repository of models. There are about 150 models on it already, but these are model templates. These aren't models, they're templates that you use by putting in your own parameters to create thousands of variations of models. Now let's look at one other interesting thing for our developers, our creators, and that is we keep a detailed log of what happened every time we render a model. So you can see the version of OpenSCAD that was used. You can see the files that were used. Here's a list of all the fonts that are available currently on the system. But if you don't see the font you want, just include it in your zip file and reference it there. Here's a directory listing of all the files that came out of the zip file. So you can see all of these various model overlays that Rolf has made available to you. And that's just an introduction to the features available in this system. One other thing I want to show you, if you don't find the model you want here, well, you can search directly on Thingiverse. So let me click on open SCAD only. And here is a model on Thingiverse and I can invoke that model in the customizer on this site. So that pulled the model back from Thingiverse to this site, and then you have availability to the customizer. Now, if the model came from Thingiverse, the parameters might not have been fine-tuned for this site yet. It may or may not work, generally it will, but it gives you access to a wealth of models. And as those models that are licensed, in such a way where they're share-alike with attribution or their GPL or their open source or MIT, we will embed those directly in our repository to make it even easier for you, but only if the licenses permit that. So folks, I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please head over to models.makewithtech.com and start playing around with creating new models of lots of interesting things that you can 3D print, but more importantly, that you can fully customize. Thanks so much, have a great day. And let's continue to learn things together.